Austin Calling is just about a month away and the excitement in the city continues to build. Joining me now is one of the featured local bands, the Wolf Sisters. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having us. We're so excited to have you on the mix. This is Rachel, Rebecca and Kat. I want you to tell me a little bit about how the band got started. You grew up in a musical family. Yeah, so we're all sisters. And we grew up in a house where there was a piano like in the living room and our dad's a piano player and our mom just loves listening to music. And so I think it was sort of natural that we all started playing music together. So, yeah. What was it like to grow up in an environment like that where everyone is creative and, and talented? <laughs> Um, it was definitely interesting. I think I wouldn't have it any other way personally. Uh, you know, just being surrounded by the creativity and just um, being able to bounce things off each other was always mm. really nice. Yeah, it was just really fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I imagine it's a blast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you get a lot of inspiration from growing up here in New England. You are a local, uh, local band, so kind of walk us through how that has inspired you, I guess, in your songwriting and in your music. Well, we spent summers like uh, going to the Cape and, and going to the White Mountains in New Hampshire and just the beautiful seasons in New England sort of laid a fabric for our lyrics and our inspiration for like the type of Americana sound that we have. Yeah, and some of the music videos too. I was watching some of those yeah. and I noticed like being outdoors is a big yeah. theme. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, so growing up as sisters, you know, that, that has its own challenges. I have a little sister. We're, we're five years apart. I don't know what the age differences oh, yeah. are. You guys all close in age? Um, yeah. So I'm the oldest. We're five years apart. Kat okay. And, and then yeah. Rachel and I are about a year and a half apart. Okay. So that can present its own challenges, right? Especially <laughs> yeah. when you have that older gap. What is it like, do you think, to kind of be in this business with family versus friends? Are there kind of challenges to that? I think it's it makes it more blessing. Yeah, it makes it more yeah, fun. Like, cause you get to be with people you grew up with, like, and we're sort of like, when we write songs or perform songs, we're on the same wavelength and like our yeah. influences are very much the same cause we grew up in the same house. Mm -hmm. So I think we don't have to like communicate like other people have to communicate. Sure, it's you guys like, are all in the same wavelength. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's pretty authentic. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Uh, the way that we get to be ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then I imagine if you guys disagree about something, <laughs> you know your sister, so you're yeah. gonna get over it the next exactly. day. Exactly, yeah. Like yeah. the next five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so right now you work all over the country. Mm -hmm. A couple of you are based locally here, but one of you is on the West Coast. <laughs> so so what, what is that like, I guess, to try and collaborate? I mean, um, I mean, it works. It works. it works. So she'll fly in whenever we have to do like a, a little tour. And then it, I think it just like spreads the music. So now there's like fan, a fan base in L.A. and now uh, in New yeah. England. So I think it's an advantage. Yeah, that's yeah, it's like cool. two, two and one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction to finding out that you were going to be playing Boston Calling? Wow. <laughs> it was very exciting, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's like a bucket list, uh, bucket list venue to do festival. So mm -hmm. I have goosebumps for you a little oh bit. Just God. like saying oh. that and picturing it. It just must have been so cool. Um, we don't have a ton of time left, but you do have a brand new song coming out. We are getting an exclusive first listen here yes. shortly on the mix. What was the process like for that single? So we, this song is called Hurricane and we actually all wrote it together. We had writing sessions where we would sit down and just do that. We did, wrote it in January, recorded it in January, and now it's coming out May 1st and this is the first time playing it live. 